Hello and welcome to another Let's Play. Me, Game of Six of Lush Shards. Before we start, if you're interested in playing this game, you can get it for free on itch.io. But if you want to support the people that made this game and or get the newest version earlier, you can go to their Patreon, where it's $5 a month. So, on the last Let's Play, our friend Dallin here, and I think Head of the Shields, um, showed us around campus. And also, at the very end of it, we needed to go to the little boy's room, where, if we selected certain choices, we could have swiped our V-card. Which also taught me that the NSFW stuff, even though it says Dallin, da da da, it's not ex specifically with this guy, it's, you know, the person's root. Which might mean that we might get uh, a wooed by a werewolf. A woo? Woo, oh, this wolf. Anyways, let's reset my face, because it gets all weird when I do all this animation. And begin. As soon as I get out, I'm greeted by an excited Dalian with soda bottles in his hands. Here you go, gotta replace the fluid. Choose one. It is flavored water. I prefer... Strawberry or orange? This will decide the fate of our relationship. But what would I want? I mean, I guess strawberry, maybe? I don't think I usually have carbonated strawberries. Take the strawberry one, please. Instead of handing it to me, he keeps smiling with both bottles in front of him. I reach out to take it, his big paws impossible to avoid, and we end up touching. It's hard to explain, but it felt kind of intimate. Was that his way of flirting? Is he that smooth? Maybe he's not so stupid after all. I hope he can't notice my blush. It's silly to even think that way with a smart, with a simple touch. But here I am. Where's uh, to next, Chief? Hmm. I think this is about it for the academy. I mean, there are a ton of classrooms to show you. The dungeon. Dungeon. Some more towers, but you don't need to know about those until after the test. He thinks for a second. Well, there is another place. I, to this, I suppose. Maybe the dungeon? Follow me. He's so fast. And we're not holding hands? We go up more stairs. I'm going to the dungeon, then. I mean, there could be an upstairs dungeon. You know, like a tall tower, the highest tower in something peak. Weird. I thought this was the last floor. How many does this building have again? Enough for a good leg workout. Do they have those things to prevent people from jumping here as well? Like, in Japan, do they... Is it regular for them to have, like, rooftop access? I don't know. We get... To the roof? Well, here. No, wait, we're here. The last stop. The sun is setting, leaving a golden red horizon in its place. Oh, what a view. I know, right? It's nothing special being out here, I mean. It's just a rooftop, but the view really is amazing. Not as good as from some of the towers, I was told. But you can still see most of the campus. We stayed by the edges for a while. Dallin was trying to point out some of the bigger reference points on the campus, like the arena the dorm rooms, and the cafeteria. He had some trouble remembering their locations, as far as I noticed, but I didn't care. Because, as I said, the tour guide was a bit of an excuse to spend time with this handsome man. The wind was blowing harder as the sun disappeared, ruffling his fur and playing with this cheek fluff. How I wish I was the one doing that. Lucky Mother Nature caressing every bit of him, going in his nose and that- wait, what? We sip our waters and look around the view, leaning on the th thick safety barrier. So, what do you think? Which part? Everything. 
I love getting feedback about things I enjoy. Out of 10. Well, let's see. About... So am I going to rate every single one of these things? Ooh. About you? Mm. I just want to be like, about you, you're like 20 out of 10 or something like that. No, I want to, eh, let's just pick this one first. You were a great guide. I already feel like I know this place better thanks to you. His tail will start wagging even more than before, if that's even possible. Walking through the halls, everybody greeted you smiling and knew your name. You said you wanted to be like the headmaster someday, but I think you already, you're already there. In a way. He looks at me, dumbstruck for a moment. Did... I say something wrong? Thank you so much, Cody. Whoa. Oh, okay. We're hugging now. There, there. No need for tears. This means so much to me. I take this opportunity to feel the fur around his neck, softer than the cotton in the suit, and drink in, uh, drink in his violet perfume. What is violet? Sniff, sniff. Sorry, just got a little emotional there. It's fine, I don't mind. You can get emotional with me any time. What does that even mean? Uh, does that mean I passed? 11 out of 10. Okay, so we can do all the things. The Academy itself. To put it simply, I can't wait to start actual classes. The rooms are so much more different than regular college or high school classrooms. I feel like I might actually learn something for once. Wait till you meet the teachers as well. Miss Chi Chi is a sweetheart, and she has a soft spot for first years. And Miss Rolsar will make, will make you hold on to your life as tight as you can and never let go. What does that mean? He'll teach you to appreciate life, because you'll die almost, you'll almost die every classroom. I'm not going to spoil the fun. I usually like to hold good relationships with my teachers. So I get that I shouldn't be worried about the ones who have a... I mean, so I get that I shouldn't be worried about ones who have a stick shoved up there, you know what? Not at all. Well, except the sex teachers. Sex teachers? Well, you know how to gather up the maximum amount of energy from Nightfallen, right? Of course, you make them lustful with your body. But do you actually know how to do that and do... Do you actually know what to do in that, in that situation? How to utilize your body? Um, drop off your pants? That's a simple yet effective strategy. But if the Nightfallen isn't particularly interested in males, then dropping your pants will do nothing for it. You've got a point. That's why we have to learn with experience. With lessons from professionals. Very interesting. So yeah, I'd give the Academy itself a 9 out of 10. Consider me impressed. Um, so we're just going to start banging in classrooms? And we probably should have banged in the, the bathroom stall so we could have gotten some experience. I adore this campus. It's so big. But it... No, wait. Can it even be named a campus? Well, it's technically a city. Campus isn't even the official name of the territory. We just call it that. Because, well, that's what you expect to call a place, a place around the academy. I... Read there are no cars in here. You'd be right. The city itself has about three is about three miles in diameter, so there's no need for cars. What if you want to get out of the city? Renting a car is possible. Plus, the few people who do own their sorry, Rio Big Sion, who do own one of their own Plus a few people who do have their own little garage at the edge of the city, near the gate. I see. Are we allowed to go wherever on campus? Yep. 
As long as it's not private property. You're advised not to go inside outside the barrier. But that it's not like teachers are on guard duty around all around the walls at all times. <laughs> so, if I were to go into the forest right now, you wouldn't tell anyone? Um... Dalian? You wouldn't tell, right? If you were to go, I would be coming with you. Avoid the question. It's too dangerous. Are there no hunters taking care of the night fallen outside the barrier? It is the Hunter's Academy, Cody. We are the hunters who take care of them. But it's not without supervision. So please, tell me you won't go there alone. If you really want some... If you want to sometime, just tell me, and I'll accompany you. Alright, I promise. Thank you. Though it is kind of weird, it's like, mm, it's kind of weird for people to go outside the barrier around the campus, but it's like, how do you get here? Well, you take a car and then you walk through the forest to get into the barrier in the first place. Hmm. As for people, I haven't met, met any locals yet. I don't think teachers either. But as for fellow students, I'm thinking of Tate and Aiden. Just like Dalian, they were eager to help and seem very nice. I think I'll get along with the others just fine. So far, Tate, no wait, so far, Tate, Aiden, Celeste, and the others seem very friendly. Even if one of them tried to scam me. But I can't help but wonder, how do the locals deal with not having internet TV? Communication with the outside world? Ugh. I know this one. So let's explain it to me, but I forgot. She does a better job explaining this kind of stuff on the spot. It's something to do with energy crystals and antennas. They use those outside the barrier to manage and manage cat signals for the locals. Students go and don't get the privilege like that. Why? So we can fo so we can focus on becoming good hunters. And how are my Sunday morning cartoons going to affect that? I, well, you see, you should be banging at that hour. Anyways, hmm. I got you there. You really have. Hey, are you going to, uh, to pull coals and all the rules from now on? Only the stupid ones. Can't wait for those future debates. So I think I'll give the people here a 10 out of 10. I think that's everything. I think that's it for now. Nice. Also, maybe put up the audio a bit. I don't remember it being so low, but... Um, it's... I, it just seems quite a bit lower to me. We'll adjust that as this. It seems like you got a high score. You aced the test. I love hearing those words. He looks into my eyes, his gaze traveling slowly all over my face until it fixates on my lips. Is it getting hot in here, or is it just me? Yep, your body temperature is definitely rising all right. How would you know that someone's focusing on your lips? I don't know, it just don't focus on stuff now. Anyways, among other things. There you are. Finally, thank goodness. Rude interruption. Sir, we need you to stamp the papers for the new members. They want to come inside the room, and also enter the room as well. But we can't allow them to until you make them official. Dalian lets out an exasperated sigh, the new rival clearly stepping on nerve. You know, I like rules. I think they're important, but don't you think it's taking it a tiny bit too far? The man lets out the loudest, most shocked gasp I have ever heard. All right, all right. I'm coming. Well, we're about done here anyway. You don't mind if I... No, no, no. Not at all. Duty calls. I get it. He touches the pointy f his pointy fingers together. Looking away shyly. Um, I'll be in my office if you need me. He can't enter the defense. We'll get it, Killjoy. 
before we get in. Ouch. I'll just wait by the stairs. Yeah, you better. I suppose this is it for now. Well, see you later, Cody. Or tomorrow, most likely. See ya. I expect more tours in the future. This was only the beginning. I watch his back, walks towards the exit, and he only turned around and I only turned around when the tip of his tail was completely out of sight. Now was a little disappointed to say the least. He didn't seem very happy with his member giving him that news. Obviously, we were having fun. And it got ruined by rules. I don't think that's all there is. That's no wait, that was a snap. That was a snap? Are you suggesting he let his bottled up emotions come out? Oh that he snapped instead of you know. That's exactly what I'm saying. To be fair, who wouldn't be under a lot of stress in his situation? I wouldn't be surprised if he secretly plots to murder everyone in his school. Maybe he has evil plans written in a diary. I doubt he goes that deep. But he, if he is under a lot of stress, I could pro perhaps help him out. We'll see when the time comes. So, what do you want to do now? Hmm. Oh, right. Uh, S Celise. I promise I'd help her. Or uh, I'll help her. Let's see. Where did she say her shop was again? I wonder. Didn't she give you a literal map to use? Oh, yeah. I take out the fold piece of paper from a backpack. The map is surprisingly well made. She did say she's an inventor, so it's not too odd that she'd be able to draw a good map. Unfortunately, unfortunately the architecture here is a tad too detailed. It takes a while to actually understand how to navigate it. Combine that with the fact that I don't know that I don't yet know the building at all. And you have a lost leopard. Scribbles, can you help me here? Yeah, yeah. I'll come to the rescue. Again. Show me that map again. Hmm. If this is that hallway. And that's the statue. Okay, I got it, I think. Just go down three floors, then to the left. You're the best. I know. Using some help from, wait, using some help from Scribbles. The superior being. I get in front of Celeste's workshop. Before I knock, I question the real intentions for my presence here. Do I like Celeste? Do I want to be a good little pal and help someone out? Or is it to impress Stallion with his with my civic spirit? Before I can answer myself, the door swings open. No, I just want to get into her pants. Is it do be like that? Sometimes? Also, my face seems to be a bit too much to the side. Eyes, focus. Actually, maybe I should do this. There we go. Echo lightning. Uh, right. A very enthusiastic raccoon is now on my face. Nice. Just in time. The paint I used to color it just dried. Nice to see you too. You've been standing outside my door for 6.46 seconds. Why didn't you knock? What were you pondering? I hope you didn't get cold feet. <laughs> I, um... Never mind. Come on in. The inside looks very messy at first glance, until you look closely at how almost everything is labeled and has its own designated place. Welcome to my little workshop, where all the magic happens. All of it? Did I stutter? So, what do you want me to help with? Oh, it's simple. She hands me a pair of goggles similar to the ones she has on her neck, but a little bigger, with a lot more weirder lenses. Sit on that chair over there. Yes, ma'am. Okay. She gives me the goggles. Think of it as an eye exam. 
I never liked doctors, so that statement made me a little worried. Put these on. I adjust the strap, examine them a bit, and attempt to put them on. Stop! Don't do it! Don't put those on! I take them off and throw the groggles on the floor in a panic. Scribbles, are you okay? What's wrong? What was she trying to do? <laughs> You're so gullible. I don't know what those even are. That's not funny! Wait, you lied? You should be dead, or something bad should have happened to you anyway. I did not. I just told you not to put them on. You decided the reason for it. And your first concern was my safety, not yours. Aw, isn't that cute? Whatever, I hope Celeste isn't mad. Hey, what the hell was that for? She picks up the goggles and inspects them. Oh. Oh! Silly me, it was set on x-ray vision. She flicks a switch on them. If you were to look through them directly at me like that, you would have seen me naked. I mean, I would have thought I would have seen you with only your bones on. <laughs> You'll pay for this, Scribbles. I could have seen her naked. I'm sorry. I admit, I messed up. She sways her tail as she comes closer with her hands on her back, behind your back. You're a true gentleman, Cody. And you, ha you have good observation skills. Still, a bit of an overreaction. However, you've already proven yourself way more useful than my previous assistant. Guess I shouldn't take any risks with you. I'll have someone else test my other invention I planned for the evening. She throws a big syringe in with green bubbly liquid into a drawer, out of sight. Uh, you're welcome. I might have saved your life. Now, the goggles should be fine. Just don't touch any of the lenses, and I want you to look directly at me. My vision hasn't changed much, except for some patterns appearing on the edges. What do you see? Um, what am I looking for exactly? You don't see anything different? Nope. Perfect. She brings out a small cage covered in cloth. Now, look at this. Oh, it's so cute. She takes the cover off. Inside the cage is a small slimy creature. Also, how does it stay in there? It's slime. What the hell is that? Don't worry about it. Just tell me what you see with those goggles. It's glowing. Not very bright, but noticeable enough. At the center of the mass is a small ball a small part glowing even brighter. Cool. You can see it too. Wait, so you can see it too. That's nightfall, by the way. What? Ah! What happened? Celeste, is that a nightfallen? She smirks. Maybe. I mean, like, what else could it be? This is not okay. What is it doing here? Relax. It's harmless. It's just an experiment tool. I'll get rid of it when I'm done. Now get rid of it or get rid of it. Whoop. See all that. Oh, but it's so cute also. Alright, but how is it inside the barrier? Oh, I got a little help from someone. I don't know how they did it. Uh, sorry. How they did it myself, so I don't ask. This is concerning, but I'll try to overlook it. Great. Now, for the real reason you're here. She brings out a big mirror, cover it as well. So, what do you see? No, what you saw was energy. The goggles on your eyes are designed to see the amount of energy and magic in creatures. But I didn't see anything on you. That's because I have no magic. And I'm not a Nightfallen, so I can't have magic have energy inside me. Unless I were to swallow one's crystal. But they're not very tasty. That's not that I tried one, of course. I didn't think you did. Good. Because it didn't. 
Shut up. So now, I need someone that has magic in them. I assume that if you came here by recommendation, you must be pretty powerful. So, uh, that's why I wanted your help. Just take a look at yourself and tell me what you see. She uncovers the mirror. The image that's staring back at me is blinding. There's too much light in the way for me to even open my eyes. But I did catch a glimpse of red around the bright blue colored aura. So this looks surprised when I cover my eyes and turn away from the light that she can't see. Already taking notes. Huh. No wonder everyone thinks you and your pals are so special. Pals? Recommend students. She comes closer and touches another switch on the goggles. My vision darkens slightly. Now, I can look at my own reflection without having to close my eyes. Wow. Am I the protagonist of the school? Because, even if I don't have anyone to compare my aura to, it feels impressive. Like, let's see, you got a blue one, you got a tiny little red one there, and it seems like a purple one right there. I'll let you know that most of that is mine. The red one, and the majority of the blue. So, don't get too cocky. You're still super weak. Oh. Still. My point stands. Barely. Let me try. Be my guest. Sus takes the goggles from me and looks through them without bothering to strap them on. Oh, hell yeah. That's awesome. And it seems like your aura has two colors. I would love to see you in action. Let's see how bright it is without the shade. She switches the lens. Um... I think I put x-ray goggles on. Oh, oops, that's the x-ray vision. She changes the lens, goes back to the x-ray, then off again. It's... Hey! I saw that. Did... Did she just see me naked? I cover myself with my tail. No, you just... Uh, spread your legs out. Just let her get good look at all the goods. I mean, I don't even need clothes on for that. Would. Anyways, um, oh, don't be so dramatic. I've seen my assistants naked countless times. Mostly because their clothes were set on. The, wait, mostly because their clothes were set on. I mean, oh, caught fire. I shouldn't be too surprised. She keeps playing with the device, she and her eyes, when looking at me. She looks busy and comparing. Completely focused on our new device, but maybe not too busy to talk to. Maybe a good time to find out more about her. Yeah, sure, let's keep going. Her inventions, or which I ask. Hey, so what are you trying to achieve with this particular invention? Well, for starters, it will help hunters be able to harvest energy at the most optimal levels. Some nightfallen need to reach multiple orgasms for a full tank. It will. While others might be full as soon as you see them. So you don't have to waste time preparing them. You'll be able to assess someone's magical abilities without needing those time consuming auditions. The list goes on. I assume you can think of more. I assume you can think of. I assume you can think of more for yourself. Does something like this not exist yet? Nope. Crazy, right? Nobody knows my secret techniques. Ha 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 ha! And you're not gonna tell anyone. How are you sure about that? She steps. She stops meddling with the goggles, raises her ears, and looks at me sharply, all making small steps in my direction. Not that I'm telling anyone. I have no reason to. Yes, you have no reason. She takes my paws and hers gently. These are some nice fingers. If you ever do betray me, you have to kiss them goodbye. Why my fingers? Wouldn't the tongue be more uh, make more sense? <laughs> Don't give her any ideas, you imbecile. I already have the perfect device for finger cutting, so I don't have to waste time and resources. Oh. But you don't have to worry about that after all. You 
After all, you're here because I trust you. Right. Um... What other stuff did you invent, aside from these goggles? And the... finger-cutting machine? Why? Do you want to buy some? No, I just... On sale! We have levitation boots. We have invisibility trinkets. Flamethrowers. Bombs. Bombs? Uh, what are you looking for, exactly? If you got money, I can provide. I don't have any money on me. So, why'd you ask me to show you everything I have on sale? I didn't. Let's say I believe you. What is your reason, then? I was just curious, is all. Aren't peculiar. Let's move on. Relationships. I hope I'm not overstepping my boundaries, but how's your relationship with the other members of the Shard? I'd say it's pretty good. Really? Yes, really. What makes you think otherwise? As far as I've noticed, you're pretty set on rules and stuff. I mean, they're pretty set on rules and stuff. And everyone I saw was wearing expensive suits. I was wondering if they might have a problem with the fact that you're more unique. Wow. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. No, you're right. You hit the bullseye there, Cody. I did? I don't like it there much. Or any of them, really. I always saw them as kind of snobbish. Defend a shard is where all the rich parents make their kids apply to. Because it's the safest, but also the most noble branch. You will have to risk your life or use your body to collect NG like summoners, slayers, or sorcerers. Damn it! I picked the one with w that I might not be able to have sex with a wolf daddy. So then, are you here? Inventions can easily be used to collect NG or assist slayers on in missions. It's. It's because of Dalian. No, he's mine! He wanted to protect people. And I'm his best friend, so I'm not gonna leave him. I mean, I'm a vice leader now, too. Can't just leave. And I need the money. I understand. We're just gonna help somehow. I really need money. Open it. Open any way but financially. Honestly? She looks at me with big, innocent eyes. I think... You're already helping. And don't get it twisted. I've never had m as much fun as whenever I... No, wait, I've never had as much fun as whenever I get to do a little trolling around the headquarters. I once repainted the whole room into an ever so slightly greener shade, and they were all going nuts. Funniest thing I've ever seen. Huh. I wish I could have been there. Previous assistance. Quick. So. You mentioned you had previous assistance. Can I know more? Why? Jealous? No, no, I'm just curious. Heh, <laughs> I'm just teasing. Well, if you want to know, first, there was Tinel. I chose him because he was strong, and at the time, I was working on some heavy projects. Why'd he quit? The wrench to the head. Oh. Then there was Anya. She was sweet, but so, so stupid. She fucked around and found out. Meaning she blew up my workshop. Which is why I have to work in secret from the teachers. You're not allowed to work on inventions at all? Only under supervision. But that's boring. Why? Was Anya okay? She could turn her skin into stone, so her damage was minimal. After that, Kima sent Monty to help, and the instru instruction was not to quit under any circumstance, or they do something to him. They were never too explicit, but Monty sure was scared. He tried my latest invention, a teleportation device, but it but it being just a prototype, it ended up teleporting him 
about 200 feet in the air. Spent a month in the hospital. Guess that's a good reason to quit. Oh no, he didn't quit. He came back as soon as his bones were healed. Too scared of Hema, of what Hema would do. So I had to fire him. Despite the tears and protests, he wasn't even the worst assistant ever. No more questions. Maya shifted the corn, drifted the corner to a small circular device that looked very complicated. It also seemed untouched for months. Eh, should we call it? Eh, seems to change. You like that? I'm not even sure what it is. It's a teleportation device. Device I mentioned Monty tried. She wouldn't try it, and end up in the hospital. Who thinks? I don't mean right now, silly. We can figure out what is wrong with it together. And you don't have to worry. I won't force you to test it. Maybe the next time you come around? Do you like the idea of teleporting? Do I look? Wait. Do I like the idea of teleporting around? Wait, I do like the idea of teleporting around. I swear I can read. I'll even credit you as a co-inventor. Imagine if we actually managed to make it operate. No more of those expensive as fuck gates with big corporations are trying to sell. Alright, I'll help. Yes! You won't regret it. Perhaps it's a bit late for that now, but we'll definitely meet again. I think that's all I need for today. I'll find you when the time comes. Yes, ma'am. boy. Off you go then. I'll st I still get some stuff to do. Pushes me out towards the door and closes it behind me. And that's going to be the end of this. Let's play. Hi, Yena. So. Uh, yeah, end of this. Play. So, please comment, cuz, like, comments. <sighs> Tell me if you like, dislike, tips, because otherwise it's been a day. And most exercise yesterday. My body is sore because it was a double. Mm. If you like my YouTube and like Seek Room, then please like, subscribe, and like, subscribe, and check out the rest of the group. Please remember Spain and your animals help control the pet population. <laughs> and if you want to play this game, it's available for free on the channel. But if you want to support the people that made this game and are getting the newest version earlier, Patreon, where it's $5 a month. It is kind of weird going from one uh, visual novel to another because when I was starting this, I was like, hello and welcome to the Let's Make Neat Game 6 of Sugar Lane because I did like a whole bunch of those and now I'm doing a bunch of these. But it do be like that sometimes. I also need to save $5 instead of $2 because it do be like that right now. Anyways, I think that's everything. So until next time, let's wait. Me. Me. Do I need to see I guess so. Game of six of Le Shards. Chapter Uno. Uh, can we just go here? Yeah, they have the Galloway. Okay, don't click on Dallion. It's kind of when it's like Aiden. You got Dallion, which I probably shouldn't click because it might be unthing. Man, Aiden has... N oh, wait. Okay, I was like, is nothing is three? But I was like, oh, there's that. Dallion has some, but Tate... Man... You get your bussy or something wet on his thing. She's a loo. Actually, I guess I could click off and just quickly check. Boop. Okay, yeah, good thing I turned it off because it does so penis is there. But yeah, as you can see, it's just three. And yeah, there. Three. Oh, three to four. Jesus, man, Tate. Maybe Tate has all the love. Or maybe he's really horny. Or maybe it's the one that has the most focus. I don't know. It says chapter one up here, but you can't see it. Anyways, enough dallying. Thanks, see ya.